So this is showing you a particle that's small and hydrophobic that's able to cross a lipid bilayer on its own, just giving you a sense of, of what it means to cross a lipid bilayer. So the particle is the round thing, and the lines are the path it's taking. This is just showing random diffusion. In order for something to cross a lipid bilayer, it has to collide with the lipid bilayer. If it collides with the lipid bilayer, it might bounce off the lipid bilayer, or it might enter into the lipid bilayer. If it's something that's small and hydrophobic, it's going to want to be in the lipid bilayer. And so as these things collide in the lipid bilayer, the concentration inside the lipid bilayer is going to be increasing. And within that lipid bilayer, these molecules again are going to be moving about, that fluidity of the lipid bilayer. And they're going to do the same thing they do on the outside. They're going to occasionally collide with the exterior of the lipid bilayer. Could be this side, could be this side. And if, when that collision occurs, at some rate, they're going to be able to exit the lipid bilayer. Now, if it's a small and hydrophobic substance, the rate at which they enter the lipid bilayer is going to be much higher than the rate at which they exit it, which means that what you're going to get is a concentration of the substance in the lipid bilayer and then effectively a slow leak of that substance is out of the lipid bilayer on both sides. But this is the way that we have movement across the lipid bilayers. So this is oxygen. We have lots of oxygen out here. That will tend to drive an increase in oxygen in here to high levels. So there's lots of oxygen in the lipid bilayer, which then will leak out at the other side, not because it wants to, but just because there's so much in here and so much over here driving the concentration up that will tend to come out the other side. If we have a drug, we have to have enough drug given to the body so that the drug builds up in the lipid bilayer so that it leaks at a reasonably fast rate into the cell itself to do whatever job it needs to do inside the cell. So that's the, how things cross lipid bilayers without protein facilitation.